Pitkowski against the quickness and perimeter skills of Gonzaga who can really stretch the floor and Gonzaga is going to have a real challenge on the backboards. They're probably going to have to make some man and zone. But can Texas get out? Can they keep Mo Bamba on the floor without fouls and can they get out the three point shooters? Roger Ayers, Boborowski and D. Carr are the officials. Texas in orange, Gonzaga in black, and we are underway in the first of four terrific games that you will see from this building here today and tonight on ESPN. Dylan a year ago where they were defeated by Carolina. Killy down to Williams. Can't get it up and over Bamba and up and over the rim. And that length of Bamba coming into play early. Well, Killian Tilly is drawing Bamba away from the basket, but that was a really nice recovery. And so far, Jonathan Williams has missed two shots because of Bamba. What a catch. And Bamba to finish the assist to Andrew Jones. A spectacular athlete in his second year in the Zags program. How about the step through? But unable to finish there was Kerbin Roach who uh, finished impressively a number of times in the game against the Blue Devils. So they have four dunks yeah. in Friday's game. Perkins steps in, partially blocked. And we will step aside with our first media timeout. Six bounds, and now they can hold for the final shot. A step back three and a challenge three. Got to get something going quick. Not going to have a chance for an offensive rebound. Roach one on one with Larson. And Bamba slams it home just before the ball. Wait. I mean, that's just bad offense. Off of one pass, never made the defense move, got a switch, and, and bailed out and took a bad shot. Williams guarded by Osikowski. And Perkins with the ball now has made all, has made four threes and five attempts, made all four of them the first half. Bamba doing what Bamba does best. Was picked up two in a hurry. Remember the charge, and then had to go contest the shot of Hachimura at the other end. So he picked up two fouls in about ten seconds. Boy, that's such a good day in the game against Duke. Wound up with 19 points, seven rebounds, and five assists. And could have played much better. Same play. And Hachimura stays with it, but misses the follow. Sims down with the rebound. Impressive second jump. Just couldn't get it to go. Bamba with a catch in traffic, and he's fouled. Mo Bamba, under 18 team, down in Chile. And Bamba actually said to Coach Smart, hey, can I come for a visit in Austin? Shaka had not been recruited. Bamba, in all likelihood, a one-and-done kind of kid. We talked about it a couple of days ago, too. Uh, tremendously curious about the world, involved in issues, and very intelligent kid, and, and just comes across. Much better job breaking the pressure. And now Texas only has to guard for about 15 seconds once they get it across. Bamba with a rejection, but the follow is there for Williams. That's a big bucket for the Zags. Jonathan on the spot. He came right in, grabbed that thing with two hands, and that was not an easy ball to get. Tilly with the baseline drive got it rejected. And that was right there for the taking for Texas. But watch Williams come in, grabs it with both hands, and then goes up over Bamba with the left. He's left-handed. This is going to be a big focus of improvement for Gonzaga, who is working on breaking pressure. Because if you can't handle it better than this, you're going to be inviting pressure the rest of the year. Five to shoot. Williams bounce pass inside. Got it back. Rejected by Bamba. With one on the shot. Makes the second five-point game. Don't need a three here. And again, some precious seconds ticking away. The 2-3 zone slowing him down a bit. Bamba follows up his own miss. Three-point game set is for not packing it in. Well, Texas has scored 27 points off of Gonzaga's 24 turnovers. 24 turnovers is a ton. Also, I, I can't think of the last time where Gonzaga's coughed the ball up like this. It's been at least seven years. I know you have to go back to at least 2010. Bamba gives Texas the lead.